The Guineas Breeze Up and Horses in Training sale was the third consecutive sale registering record figures held at Tattersall's this year, with 11 lots making 100,000 guineas or more and record turnover registered. The highest price lot came late in the day when lot 298, a Kodiak colt, was sold for 240,000 guineas, registering a notable pinhook success for his vendors, Knock and Glass Stables and Housen and Holdsworth Bloodstock, who'd bought the offering for just 28,000 guineas last year. Bids were landed by David Redvers, purchaser of the Craven Sales top lot, Richard Knight and Cheveley Park's Chris Richardson, before the day's leading buyer Stephen Hillen added the impressive sale topper to his haul of 10 for the day. I was very impressed by the breezes, a lot of horses breezed exceptionally well. He did a really good time, he by a top stallion, Kodiak, and he finished out his breeze really well. And I've seen him a few times and he looked very sensible, good mind. Um, he's going to Richard Hughes and he's for um, Pat Gallo. Stephen Hillam was responsible for opening the bidding at 100,000 guineas on lot 214, a dawn approach cult out of Wisp. After initially looking as if he'd done enough to secure the son of Dali's exciting first crop sire, it was Dicko Gorman who swooped late to secure the grandson of German champion two-year-old filly Wild Romance on behalf of John Ferguson for the significant sum of 170,000 guineas. The sought-after offering was consigned by Peter Kavanagh's Glending Stables. I bought the mare as a filly out of training in France. She was bought from Germany. She was a, a Rutgen family that's done exceedingly well. The W family, they throw a group horse every year. And I was just very anxious to get into that family, so I paid a lot of money at the time for her. He was a particularly nice colt by a very versatile horse. He was a champion two-year-old and a classic three-year-old. And you'd have to be optimistic about his future. He's a big scopey horse, he had a great attitude. He came here as a yearling and had a little issue and he wasn't striding outright and we got that resolved and he's been easy to break and pre-train and our son Roderick has done most of the work on him. Also making 170,000 guineas was lot 223, an acclamation cult consigned by Church Farm and Horse Park Stud. Having ended the Craven Breeze up sale as one of the leading consigners, the vendors picked up where they left off with another successful pinhook, having given just €60,000 for this juvenile as a yearling. The cult, who hails from the multiple group-winning family of Zelding, Immortal Verse, Zipping and Last Tycoon, amongst others, was signed for by bloodstock agent Richard Frisby. He breathes very well. He's a beautifully made horse. He's very well balanced. Handled himself very well on the track. And, and you know, obviously that's essential at, at this stage of where we are in the season. If they're going to perform this year, you want to see them going well within themselves. It's obviously a lovely family. Um, the Sars continuing to do well. The Stallion's there, so if he was good enough one day, who knows? Mockless Hill also enjoyed a good sale, selling a total of eight lots for 467,000 guineas, including lot 254, a colt by first crop sire Lethal Force, who went for 170,000 guineas. It was Jeremy Brummett who signed the ticket, seeing off Cheveley Park's Chris Richardson for the son of their exciting young stallion and securing the juvenile he'd already tried and just missed out on buying as a yearling. It was in very late in the sale and I was on a plane um, and it's made all the progress one would hope from that time to this time. The horse is for export, it's going to Hong Kong. It needs to be running as a three-year-old and older and obviously that reduces the possibilities at a sale where people are looking for a two-year-old to do a fast breeze. A lot of those are neater, sharper horses which may well be very good this year but they're not going to suit us for our job which isn't even going to start for 18 months. So this was the standout individual with that in mind. The vendors of the top lot and the day's leading consigners, Knock and Glass Stables, continue to add to a great breeze up sale season when selling lot 262, a Dandyman colt, for 160,000 guineas to Dick O'Gorman. He's a half brother to Group 3 runner up Turf Laurel and claims the honours as the top priced unraced son or daughter of Dandyman to sell at Tattersall's. Earlier in the day, a colt consigned by Tally Hostud, by their resident leading sire of juveniles Kodiak, sold to Cheveley Park Stud for 150,000 guineas. The colt out of white dress is set to follow in the footsteps of his dam and join trainer John Gosden, and was one of eight purchases on the day for the stud. He's a late foal, um, but a very easy athletic um, uh, individual. Um, he's been bought to, to go to John Gosden, 
Um, he trained pearl dance and um, liked the family uh, and knows the family extremely well. It's exciting, he's by a very fashionable horse and Kodiak out of a pivotal mare, so uh, you know, lots to look forward to hopefully. It's picked up following you know, the sale two weeks ago, which was obviously extremely strong. We were lucky enough to buy eight horses there and uh, David Thompson was keen to um, continue that policy of buying a few colts to race. Um, and um, it's exciting that um, a number of these colts are actually going to new trainers. We've got two going to Henry Candy um, and two going to Hugo Palmer. So uh, uh, branching out a little bit. But I think the sale overall has, has been very positive, it's been well attended and um, we're, we're lucky to have people you know, like the Thompsons uh, supporting the industry. The day opened with the sale of 91 catalogued horses in training, which concluded with a bang when the final lot threw the ring, the 100-rated Steve Rogers, sold to trainer Michael Bell for 105,000 guineas. The sale of the six-time winning stayer was the third highest price ever achieved for a horse in training at this sale. As records continued to be broken at Tattersall's during 2017, marketing director Jimmy George reflected on the sale. You can imagine we were thrilled with the way the Craven Breeze up sale went the other day. I mean, it was extraordinary trade and uh, it was fantastic. So, you know, that was going to be a hard act to follow, but this has been a really good day sale as well. The Guineas Breeze up has very much sustained that momentum and we've seen significant rises across the board in turnover, average, median. I mean, the turnover for the sale is up 50%, which is a big rise, even with a slightly larger catalogue. Median up 20 odd percent, average up 20 odd percent, clearance rate of 86 percent, which is a, which is a huge achievement for a, for a catalogue of this size. I think everybody thought the Guineas Breeze up last year was a very good sale. So again, that puts it in perspective to have significant rises with that in the background is great. The pin hookers, the, the consigners here, they're hugely professional. They bring fantastic two-year-olds to, to Tattersall's every year, Craven and Guinea sale, and they, they're rewarded. You know, the buyers show up because they keep buying decent racehorses from these guys. And we'll all go to the Guineas weekend this, this weekend at Newmarket. And second favourite for the 1,000 Guineas is Daban, who came from the Guineas Breeze up last year. And I think that typifies why this sale is, is continuing to sustain the momentum year on year.